If you having girl problems, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but a bitch ain't one. I got the rap patrol on the cat patrol. Fools that want to make sure my cast is closed. Rap critic. Good afternoon, YouTube. This is Dave, Florida Piper. So today's video is going to be entitled, I've got 99 problems, but subscribers ain't one. At uh, 99 subscribers, so uh, I thought it's probably time to do a bit of a giveaway. I actually hit 99 uh, like a couple days ago. Uh, I said 101 last time I checked, so I guess it's technically a 100 subscriber giveaway, but I'm going to call it a 99 subscriber giveaway. Based on 99 Problems by Jay-Z. So I was thinking a little bit about uh, what to give away. Thank you all, um, by the way, for subscribing to me. I didn't, uh, didn't imagine that I'd have 100 people want to watch, watch me smoke a pipe or listen to anything I had to say. But uh, you guys are a great community. I'm great to have you along for the ride. So I was thinking, you know, what, what should I give away? Um, things I like are things you can find everywhere. Um, things like Half and Half, Captain Black, Sir Walter Raleigh, stuff like that. Uh, you, any of you can find that on almost any tobacco shop you walk into across the country. So uh, it's not really anything unique. Um, but that's a lot of what I have uh, on hand here. I do like to try things from uh, local brick and mortar shops, so and. Uh, We'll, uh, we'll dig into that in just a little bit. Uh, I've picked out a couple things that uh, I think you guys might like. Let's uh, take care of housekeeping though, first off. Smoking in my Missouri mirrors from hardwood. I love this little pipe. We're uh, puffing on a little bit of a golden cabin dish. And we'll get into that in a little bit here. And for refreshment, old ice water in a tin cup. Mustache problems. <laughs> so, brick and mortar shops. Um, a lot of you probably know that you can get tobacco in bulk there. Um, some of them have just rebranded Lane Limited stuff. Uh, others have, uh, you know, the, the major brand players that, that you see everywhere, uh, you know, um, Dunhill or, or whatever. And then uh, others have their own branded uh, labels for their tobaccos. Uh, now I'm not under any delusion that they actually manufacture the tobacco themselves. Uh, I suspect highly that it's either a bulk blend they bought uh, and rejarred it and relabeled it, or they've bought several bulks and blended it together the way they like it, and then they sell it um, in smaller quantities to all of us. But it can be fun to uh, try different things and see if you can kind of detect similarities with um, other major brands that you're that you've had or tried, and just to see uh, see how the taste has evolved uh, with what they've done to it. So uh, it, it's a fun exercise just to see how refined your palate might be. I can tell you right off, mine's not that refined. Uh, I cannot always tell the difference uh, uh, between uh, what say say maybe a, maybe a a lane bulk and uh, something that's custom done. Um, they might have just they might have relabeled it. And it might just be a lane product, and I wouldn't know the difference. But uh, the joy is in discovering it, right? So let me set this down. I'm gonna need both hands here. Walked into a uh, local brick and mortar uh, today. I've not been into before. It's called uh, Mark Twain's Smoke Shop. It's in uh, downtown Lakeland. It's kind of an older store. Um, it's kind of one of those places where you feel like time's kind of passed it by a little bit, uh, so it's a little, um, uh, maybe not at the top of its game anymore. But uh, a lady in there was super nice, and she had several bulk tobaccos um, on hand there, um, and they were um, branded with their proprietary or their their in-house label um, that they uh, assigned to each one of these tobaccos. Again, they might be just like rebranded Lane BCA or something. I don't know. But uh, hey, that's that's a fun discovery. So I picked up uh, I picked up a few ounces. Um, there's four two ounce bags in here, 
and I'll just pull a couple out because they're two and two of the same thing. Um, I got a couple of packages of uh, what they call a Mark Twain special. Um, it is kind of a black Cavendish uh, base. I've got, I took a picture of their uh, description on their little menu thing. For the Mark Twain, they said it's a blend of fire cured Cavendish tobaccos discreetly flavored to produce an extremely mild, slow burning smoke that not only pleases you, but those around you as well. So uh, I got a couple of, uh, couple of two ounce bags of the Mark Twain. The uh, other one here is a uh, is a golden Cavendish, and I got two two ounce bags of this as well. This they have called Shenandoah. Um, I don't know if it's related to the old Shenandoah that you can get everywhere else, but um, that's just what they called this one. Um, the description they gave here is aroma. One of the most important aspects of any smoking tobacco is the paramount consideration in this blend of golden Cavendish tobaccos. Every everyone within smelling distance loves it. So, both of them uh, on the aromatic side of things, but uh, seem to be pretty fine tobaccos. I've, uh, I've sampled each, and, uh, and they're, they burn nicely. Uh, the moisture content's about right. Um, and I'm, I'm working on a little bit of a uh, little bit of the golden right now. So, I thought I would uh, do a little giveaway for my 99 subscribers. Um, and the way I, th I, I was thinking about how we want to work this out. Um, I think the way we want to do it is this. I've, I've got a few questions I want folks to be able to answer because I want to be able to get to know you guys better and uh, hear your thoughts on different things. So, the whole 99 problems thing. I think we all know that sitting and smoking a pipe allows your brain time to, to process on things and figure out problems that you might not be able to sort out otherwise. So uh, the first question I'd like for folks to answer would be what is a problem that you've been able to solve by sitting down and smoking a pipe? The uh, second thing is uh, how and why you got started with, uh, with piping. going out on me. So how and why you got started with pipe smoking? The third question I'd like to hear an answer to from your perspective is uh, who's your favorite presenters here on the uh, YouTube pipe community? Uh, top three. Um, not including my channel, not that mine's necessarily your favorite, but I'm already subscribed exclusively to my content, so I know what I'm going to say. Um, but the point is, who do you like to listen to and watch? Um, that might be a recommendation you would give me. So I, I'm interested in uh, reaching out and watching some new folks and uh, you know expanding the horizons a little bit. So who are your top three that you kind of go to? Um, like If you only got 10, 15 minutes to be on YouTube that day, who are the ones that you would want to go see? Um, that you make sure you, you catch um, every time you get a chance. Top three percenters. And then the last um, question, I would like for you to please shout out to a new subscriber um, or a new uh, presenter, I'm sorry. Um, preferably somebody who's under 100 subscribers currently. Uh, so let's give, the, uh, let's give the new folks a little bit of love. I've had a few people do that for me over the short time that I've been here on the YTPC, and it's been um, phenomenal. Um, it, it really helps give give folks visibility. So I would like to, you know, extend that same gratitude to others uh, that are just kind of starting out. Let's give them a little bit of support and uh, get them some uh, get them some some eyes on their channels. All right. So the four questions: um, What's the problem you've been able to work out by pipe smoking? How and why? Did you get started pipe smoking? Uh, your favorite three presenters? And a shout out to a new person under 100 subs. Now, to enter in the giveaway, there's a couple of different ways you can do it. Um, I know not everybody makes videos and posts them. So I want to make sure that we, uh, um, we include everybody. 
because we appreciate everybody here in the YTPC, don't we? Uh, so if you want to answer the four questions in the comments, that's fine. You get one entry uh, for, for typing out your answers. All the entries will go into you know, a hat or a cup or whatever, and then they'll be drawn whenever it's time to draw. And we'll pick your two winners. So comment your answers down below um, on this video, and you get one entry. Now, if you want to do me the honor of a video response, um, I really like hearing and hearing from folks, seeing folks. Um, and I recognize it takes more effort to do a video response, so you're going to get more entries. Um, if you make a video response with your four questions, I'm going to put you in the drawing four times. So uh, you can definitely increase your odds by making a video response. Um, if you've never made a video before and uh, you want to start out, this will be your first video response or for your first video will be this response, that's perfectly fine. Maybe this is uh, the way that you start out. Uh, we definitely want to see more people presenting and engaging here uh, on the YTPC. Um, so cover the questions, cover the entries there. Uh, we will run the giveaway until uh, the end of May. So we'll run everything Florida time, Eastern Standard Time, or Eastern Daylight Time now, I guess we are. Um, so I'm going to keep it open until 12.01 on June the 1st. So the evening of the 31st of May, midnight hits when it changes to the 1st of June. Um, that's where I'm cutting it off right there. Midnight cutoff is from my insurance days, you know. So that's just how we do things. Um, let's see. So we'll do the drawing probably that weekend or thereabouts. Uh, that Saturday, I believe, is going to be June the 2nd. So we'll, we'll try to do the drawing around that time close to it as we can, depending on what's going on. Uh, got a family and got obligations come up, so you guys all know how that goes. We'll get the drawing done as quickly as we can, though, thereafter. Um, so we're going to pick two winners. Um, all the names go into a hat. If you commented, you get one entry. If you put a video response, you get four entries. All names go together. Uh, first person gets one of each, and the second person gets one of each. Now, my hope is that you would take your winnings and try it. See if you can, see if you like it, see if you can detect what it might have been before it was rebranded, these, uh, these local shop names. Um, but also, there's enough there. There's a couple of ounces of each. Uh, there's enough for you to share with some friends around you. So, uh, hopefully, multiple people will get some enjoyment out of this one, uh, out of this one video. So, that's what it's all about, is uh, sharing uh, what we have and making other people happy. So uh, uh, that's, that's how we'll do the drawing. Um, goes without saying you need to be of legal smoking age to enter. Um, legal smoking age here is 18. So regardless, you need to be 18 years old no matter where you live. Um, but if smoking age is higher where you live, make sure you're legal. Um, the second thing is once the stuff ships out and leaves my hands, um, that's it. I really can't help you if it doesn't get there or if you know, customs snatches it up or, or whatever. Um, I, I can't track all the different different rules and laws throughout the world, um, unfortunately. So if you have to pay for customs to get it to you, kind of think about that um, and what it means for you. But uh, I'll do my best to, to get it out the door to you uh, in a timely manner. Um, let's see, I think that is it. Uh, I'll just run through my notes. I think I covered everything. I believe so. All right, so good luck, everybody. Thank you all for the warm welcome to the YTPC. I've only been here for maybe a month, maybe a little more. A um, lot of great people here, uh, a lot of great conversations we've had over the comments. I uh, really enjoyed watching all of your videos, those, those of you who do present. But uh, till then, good luck to everybody who enters. I hope you get in on it. and. Uh, Take care of yourselves. Talk to you soon.